The first season section is for the colder weather. We're starting and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you really clean musky fragrance that costs $600 called 724. This fragrance is called City of Arabia. It's from La Tapa Pride Collection. It lasts eight hours. It has some bergamot in it, sprinkles of incense and other notes to replicate in some way a twist on Dolce Gabbana Luminous Night, which came out in like 2021 and came off market now it's on ebay 356 dollars this is a good choice for all season really but better for colder weather this one is really good for cold weather it's called den al oud and it's by a company called in far so this fragrance i call it sugared cambodian wood because it that's what it smells like it smells like sugared wood it's got boozy nuances it's got smoky nuances it's very well blended very high quality it's an angel shared dna but it has has that just beautiful vanillas in it. It smells so natural. You can't believe it. It's a good price on it too, like $40, $50. The next one is Dirt Cheap. It's called Dior Homme Intense. And a little bit closer is this new one by La Tafa Pride called Antiquity 1886. And it does have the performance and it does have the bergamot and the cinnamon and the white chocolate, dark chocolate. It's lasted a nice long time and it replicates Dior Homme Intense in a very good way. It's a nice twist on Dior Homme Intense, not a but it's a twist for sure. This next one is like 99% accurate. It's called Mountain Nui. It's 99% accurate to Montala's Arabian Tonka. You got smoky wood, delicious spices, stuff like that. So the first five fragrances are very good for mostly colder weather. Aspen, the guy in Colorado, he's a ski instructor. What a great job to do for six months out of the year. The other six months, he's on the ocean. Cool kid. The next one also is unnamed in it. I don't know what it says Jassal here, but I named it myself the Whiskey Ghost. So it's boozy version of Angel Share and it's a beast mode and it's like $30. Highly recommend it. Now let's get into some multi-seasonal freshy fragrances. This section here, I will show you Meteor versus Meteor Noir. What is the difference between these two? I'm going to show you. Basically, the difference is the Meteor Noir has oud in it, a dark oud and incense mixed with the beautiful fresh citruses. So here is your fresh citrus fragrance. Here is a different take. You see the difference in colors? So it's got incense and oud to make that noir means dark. If you wanted to get the same fragrance smell as Meteor Noir Louis Vuitton, you find yourself Essence Noir. Now, I'm gonna tell you, this one has the notes written on it and I'll show you them. Agar Oud Patchouli Incense Benzoin. Agar Oud Patchouli Incense Benzoin. Black Currant Rose Narcius Jasmine Sambach. Exact same notes. Pretty bold. They printed it on the side too. One more thing I forgot to tell you. This one here is Pure Parfum. Cambodian Sugared Oud is what I call it. Denal Oud. The next one is also a Eau de Parfum. It's called Jealousy. Now somewhere, somewhere in some blog, some Someone named this Meteor Noir and it's not correct, okay? This is 100%, no cap, no joke. I know, cause I got the bottle in front of you. This is the full size Meteor bottle. I'm not trying to be a jerk or something, but this is very twisty on this, like 90% twist. It's got the same Mandarin, the orange, the freshness, the longevity, incredible find here. It's called Ayat Jealousy. I don't know who makes it, but it's a fire fragrance and a great price and a great performance. Now, if you want it to smell like Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit Bleu d'Electrique, this is a really cool bottle. It's called Jack's Fragrance World Jack of Clubs because that's what it is on the bottle. Look at the cap and the sprayer comes off here and you got yourself almost a direct clone of Lord d'Electrique YSL La Nuit de Loma, which is rare and discontinued. This is called Nashua Caprice. It's about the same size, maybe $10 less. It's very close to this. This is by La Tapa and it smells like Bleu d'Electrique. Also, Yves Saint Laurent Bleu d'Electrique and it lasts long and people are hyping this up, but I would recommend either one of these are great fragrances. So you have Louis Vuitton Meteor, two fragrances to replicate Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit, 
you got the Nashma Caprice by Latafa and Fragrance World Jack of Clubs, and you have Essence de Noir to create Louis Vuitton Maitre Noir. When you want to smell clean and fresh out of the shower, like you just finished the shower and you're putting on fresh linen clothes and you're fresh to death, you got your white sneakers on, your Air Force Ones, whatever you wear, maybe you're dressed up in a suit, maybe you go to work, shout out to my workers, you wear this. Maison Francis Curtigian 724. And I don't know what the 724 is, but I do know that this is a non-offensive, clean, ex like, like shiny, clean, detailed car. That's what it makes me think of. Extremely sparkly, clean fragrance. But it costs $600, and that really makes your uncle pissed off. So what do you do? You find this, Aston 740. Exact same smell, exact same performance. Maybe it doesn't have the natural notes that they picked out of the earth. Sorry, but this is the same thing as this, and I highly recommend it. And I also highly recommend you click on this video.